Hello everyone, my name is Neiman and this is my first video blog entry for my 2018 Appalachian Trail through hike. My preparation started uh, last summer watching some gear walkthrough videos that other people posted before their hikes, so I wanted to do one here as well in case it interests anybody for future years. Um, I will be blogging my through hike also at helloneiman.com uh, where I'll do daily entries of where I am and what I've experienced and what I, what I thought of the trail. But I'll also try to do once a week uh, video entries with you know, picture slideshow, recaps, reflections, thoughts for the coming week. So feel free to subscribe here if that interests you or follow along written on my blog at helloneiman.com uh, and I'll be starting March 1st. So thanks for watching giving me any feedback in the comments below. I'm not typically a video blogger, so appreciate any thoughts. All right, here we go. All right, so this is the full gear walkthrough uh, two weeks before the start of the Appalachian Trail through hike for 2018. Starting out, uh, my backpack that I'll be using is the Osprey Talon 44. Uh, it's a relatively small backpack in comparison to others. Um, all the gear does fit in there, though it is tight. Uh, I'll show you at the end how, how it does all fit nicely, though. All right, so starting back here, these are my uh, quilts for the hammock tent. I've got an Enlightening Equipment Revolution, and sorry, Revelation, as well as Revolt. Those are the top quilt and bottom quilt. Both are 20 degree quilts. Uh, my hammock is the Dutchware Chameleon with bug net um, and suspension system. And my tarp is the Underground Quilt Winter Dream 11 foot with doors. All right, moving on. Uh, although I don't need a sleeping pad with the hammock, uh, technically, I want to have one for a sit pad and in case I decide to sleep in shelters or if it gets really cold in the hammock for some extra insulation. So that's the Thermarest Z Light um, sole. It's the small size, uh, and it comes with these. This came with the uh, the quilts from Enlightened Equipment. This will allow your top quilt to connect onto the the pad really nicely, so you don't slip off. All right, camp shoes, uh, some Crocs. I, I might leave them at home because if I had to lose some space, that's probably the first thing to go. Uh, this is my clothing that I will not be wearing with me. Um, I have a full set of extra clothing. That's a pair of running shorts, some ex officio boxers, North Face t-shirt, some smart wool socks, and a bandana. And then the other clothing that I won't be wearing that I'm bringing with are my thermals. So these are REI Co-op. Uh, tops and bottom thermals. This is the uh, puff jacket. So I'm going to be wearing a fleece sweater uh, until the cold kind of subsides and warms up and I'll send it home. But I will keep the puff jacket with me. That's a Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisperer. For my rain gear, uh, I've got, this is the Outdoor Research Helium 2. Um, I also have a pair of Outdoor Research gloves. Uh, just for some rain protection to go over my, my normal gloves. And then this is a rain kilt from Enlightened Equipment. And then lastly, here is a Sea to Summit pack cover. All right, the other clothing that is more around, you know, weather conditions needed. I've got a, a cold winter hat, some fleece gloves, some waterproof socks, a hat, and a bug net, and sunglasses. Um, these are all things that I might wear depending on what the conditions of the day look like. I'll probably end up sending these two home once I once the weather warms up. All right. Moving over here, the cook system. So I have a Keith Titanium 900 milliliter pot. Uh, inside that, I've got a alcohol stove made out of a cat food can, and I also have the BRS ultralight stove if I need to go canister, although I hope to go alcohol the whole way. Um, I have a windscreen and a sponge and some other random stuff in there as well, a spoon. Uh, then I've got four ounces of alcohol that I'll hope to carry with me all at once um, that I, I'll refill in each town. Uh, but like I said, if I have to get a canister, I can do that. And then this is uh, my bear bag hang kit. So this is 50 feet of reflective cord with a little carabiner and a, a rock sack. Um, just for reference, this is my bear bag uh, and it is full with four days of food right now that weighs about eight pounds. So when I put that into the pack, you'll see what it looks like with approximately four days food, which is the most I hope to carry at once. Um, and that's just a typical Sea to Summit uh, Ultra Sill stuff sack. All right, 
little the the small odds and ends. So toilet paper and a uh, was it Deuce of Spades um, trowel, my med and, and first aid kit and all that stuff. So I've got shampoo, toothbrush, toothpaste, floss, some meds, uh, bug spray, sunscreen, and anti chafe balm, uh, an inhaler because I'm allergic to down and I'm using down quilts. My repair kit, duct tape, some carabiners and toggles, a couple extra zip lock bags, a needle and thread, a garbage bag, and then my first aid kit. Some band some band-aids and some uh, luco tape, a nail clipper, some antibiotic ointment, etc. All right, up at the top, some of the luxury and night item things as well. So I've got the Anchor 10,000 milliamp uh, battery pack, uh, some headphones, some cords, a two-prong charging port uh, so I can plug in the wall and charge two things at once, uh, my headlamp, some earplugs, a few extras because they get lost easily, uh, the XPED air pillow, and my knife is just the tiny little uh, Swiss Army knife. This is the case my phone will be in, which is just an OtterBox uh, Defender, I think, but I'm using the phone right now. Kindle, my water treatment, which is Aquamira Drops, and these are two luxury items. There's a massage ball for my feet at night, and then a Frisbee, because every good camping trip deserves a Frisbee. All right, so there is the backpack with everything in it. You can see it is stuffed pretty tight, but it does hold everything, and there is room you know, to hang stuff off or to put in the side pockets and things. This does not have any water in it, but including four days worth of food at about 10 pounds, the total pack weight comes to. About 26 pounds. All right. Okay, so then the last piece of the gear is the stuff I'm wearing on my body. Um, so my hiking boots are Solomon uh, X Mission 3s, really comfortable. Um, then I've got a Patagonia fleece sweatshirt, which I'll send back once it gets a little bit warmer. Uh, but I like to wear that or wrap it around my waist when I'm hiking. A pair of North Face convertible zip-off pants. Smart wool merino t-shirt and merino boxer briefs. Some dirty girl gaiters. Some smart wool socks. A orange bandana buff and my watch. All right, thanks for watching and apologies if it was a little dark. I tried to add as much light as I could. Uh, also, if you want any more information about some of the individual items, what they are, what's included, uh, check out the website. I do have links to all those items with weights. And over the last few months, I broke down each section of gear, talked about what I'm bringing, why I like it, and, and why I recommend it for anyone else through hiking. And if you're hiking in 2018, I look forward to seeing you on the trail. Uh, if you're not, then I hope this helps you to consider doing it yourself in the future. All right. Thanks, everyone.